Welcome to this sheet metal tutorial guys. In this video we will be designing this part by using the sheet metal tools in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Click part and click OK. From here change the background to plain white and make sure that you are working in right unit. MMGS means millimeters. Now click on this top plane and select the sketch option and after that from here select the center rectangle tool and make a center rectangle at this origin like this. After that select this smart dimensioning tool and specify the length which is 150 mm and then specify the width of this rectangle which is 120 mm. After that right click here and in tabs make sure that you have selected this sheet metal tab. This is the sheet metal tab and this is the base flying tab option. Select here and uh, specify the thickness i'm specifying as 2.5 this is basically the yellow colored thickness which is 2.5 millimeter in this case you can specify any uh, thickness you like from here change this appearance i'm selecting this one this is optional by the way then select this edge flange and se select this edge and drag it upward and select the other one as well from here you can specify the length of this edge which is 35 millimeter in my case and from here you can specify the position for, uh, for this flange so I am selecting the second one and check this box from here now let me apply the appearance again select this edge flange and select this edge and drag it up to here and then click here now we need to do the same steps again we need to specify the length of this edge flange which is 40 millimeter in my case and from here you can specify this position I am specifying this third one which includes the bend as well and check this box from here and now we need to go to this design library in this design library go to this forming tool just expand it and here you need to select this emboss and from here select this third option countersink emboss 2 and place it here drag and place it here from here you can flip it either upward or downward or you can either specify the angle now let's position it when you click here embosses like this in my case I am specifying here 3 now let's specify some dimension so select smart dimensioning tool from this center point to the edge here I am specifying the distance as 25 millimeter and then from this edge to the center point of the first emboss I am specifying here as 25 the distance now press escape button and then hold control key select these three embosses centers and make relation vertical as you can see these are aligned vertically now now let's specify the distances between each other select these two center points and here specify the distance between them let's specify as 40 we can change if we want and specify the distances between them as 40 as you can see this is not correct so we need to change it this is uh, let's specify as 35 and I think this would work 35 distance is perfect and now check this box from here and here you can see the emboss has been applied to this part now go to design library again and this time select this lenses and here select this bridge and place it over here we want to but we want upward direction so flip it from here and as you can see the direction is upward we can either change this angle we want it lengthwise so i am specifying as 90 select here position as we want it to so right click here and edit In, when you go to position this pencil like uh, shape will appear and when you click here the second one will be appeared now select smart dimension tool and specify the distances uh, from the edges from this edge to this center let me specify again here specify the distance the same 30 and 30 and the same for this one as well 
30 millimeter and from this edge to the center point here the distance is 30 and when you check this box this emboss will get applied so that's how we create uh, different parts by using the emboss and sheet metal in solidworks so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching